Hi guys, good morning. I'm feeling pretty good today. And um, we're going to go digging for some more gold. I just love this little rock. I just think that's so cute. I can't help myself but put it in the videos. Um, this is a envelope of jewelry I received from Bougie Bear. And I got it back in... Oh, December of oh, uh, December, and it was a bag, a couple of bags of jewelry, and this necklace here. So let's open it up. I went ahead and took it out of the envelope. This is how it came. It was very nicely wrapped, and then I took the wrapping off, and then they, they were in these bags. The first one I know is a Joan Rivers. I can just look at it and tell, even though I ordered it a while back. Um, Yes. Let's see. Here's her tag. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Joan Rivers. Um, she has an extender on hers with the bead. And then it sees clear acrylic faceted beautiful beads. The quality that graduate in size. I think that's very pretty. I'm going to put it around the neck. Um, today is Wednesday, and today is the drawing day, and I'm not going to do it until later on to give everybody a chance. Um, I'll probably do it around dinner time uh, to go ahead and leave their comment and uh, subscribe to my channel. It's on the video that starts with ding, ding, ding. So if you haven't gone seen that video, uh, go watch it. Go make your comment. And subscribe to my channel and you'll be entered on as long as you comment on that video so let's keep on going here let's start with the smallest bag first oh excuse me this is the smallest one first and it's a little pair of earrings and they're silver and they're little Christmas trees so I'll get to wear them this year or give them as a present Aren't they adorable? They're signed on the back, or marked on the back. Boy, I tell you, it feels great to feel a little bit better than what I've been feeling. I think everybody had this thing with all the congestion and the crud and Sometimes I wonder if we don't pass it around with our jewelry to each other, but um, try to keep my hands washed and try to wash down the jewelry before I send it out. Unless it's something that um, is very vintage and I don't want to mess um, the finish up with. Um, I'll let the buyer decide how they want to clean it. Here's a cute little Christmas set with little penguins on candy canes. It's a resin type material. Very cute. Um, the next pair are little jingle earrings. These kind of look like Avon to me. I could be wrong, but they do look like Avon. Very pretty little bow on the back, and they are marked. I don't know if we can read it. Yep, that's Avon. I kind of know my Avon because I sold it for years. It helped me pay for daycare while I worked full time so I could make some money. Because you know how it is when you first start out, you're working with children, you're really just paying the daycare and maybe getting some insurance money or grocery money, and that's about all you're making. These are very pretty. I love this red. I love sometimes simplicity is just so elegant to me. And those are just very, very pretty. I like the way the light shines through them. Hanging on the ear, that would be beautiful. It's a very much a Christmas lot. Oh, well, just as soon as I say that, it's also a Halloween lot. And those look like Avon. 
earrings too. Let's see if we got a mark on the back. Whoa. Oh no. Well, I have to go hunt it down, but let's see if I can hold on to this one. And then I'll go hunt it down after we get off. Yeah, that's Avon. Can you see it? Avon, yep. Avon has good jewelry. Or they did when I was selling it. Because the pieces that I sold way back then when my children were small, which they are one's over 40 and the other one's getting close to that. That tells you something about the quality. Now, the quality of their earrings now, I haven't sold in a long time, so I don't know. But these are very pretty. They almost look like they have real stone in them. Probably not, but they sure are pretty. Look like rubies. I don't know if you can see that. It's the first time I've used a postal envelope for background. Oh, that's interesting. There we go. That's not the way you want to display your jewelry, but anyway, those are very pretty too. Okay, I'm gonna cut this off a second and go hunt that earring. And this is why I love to have a magnet that, that extends so that when I drop these earrings, if I can get this into focus, and I can do this, and if any part of that earring is magnetic, I can pick it up without crawling under the table this is my extending magnet and it goes on and on in fact it was my husband's and i stole it so he has to go get him a new one it shrinks down to that size but it expands and it helps me pick up things off the floor without crawling under the table just a tip on think if you're thinking about getting a magnet Get one that extends out like that because it's very useful but when you have the, when you drop things under the table that are magnetic if they're not magnetic you're out of luck and you got to get down there and pick it up and then here was this bag of jewelry cute little shell earrings These are uh, enamel, so they tend to get dinged up if you don't cover them up. It's not a bad ding, but I'm just saying I will probably put this one in its own little bag so it doesn't cling up against all the metal. There we go. And I don't know if these are singles or doubles. No, they seem to be doubles. These are pretty earrings. Try to pick them out as doubles. As soon as I get them. You know, I found Angela from Aged Goodness. Talked about earrings really tangling up earring lots. And I have found that to be true too. If you can kind of get all the earrings out, it gets a little bit easier because they get tangled up in the chain, especially these uh, French hook earrings. Very pretty color here. We've got blue and a cream and an orange. A very fallish looking color to me. Those are nice. Oh, here's Tigger. Let's see, where's the other Tigger? Here he is. Disney earrings for the girls. My girls. They're Mark Disney on the back. Ooh, my hands are dirty. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. See the Disney Mark? It's a little Tigger. Here's a nice pair of hoop earrings in silver tone. Very lightweight. Now I. I'm going to just check them real quick. 
They're in pretty good shape. I like the weight of these. They wouldn't pull on your ear and stretch your pierced ear hole out. And let's see. They're magnetic, but those are nice. Oh, I like these. These are those like huggy earrings that you can't tell. Stick them in your ear and you press them in. Pretty little stones. Here's the back. I like those. Let me see if I see it. I see some markings. Um, it's probably Liz Claiborne or it's LC. I believe it's Liz Claiborne. It could be Lauren Conrad. I don't know. Yeah, they're slightly magnetic. Here's a pretty another pair of hoops. Have a great side view when you're wearing them in your ears. All that texture. They're also marked. I'm not sure what that is. So I can get that to focus for y'all. Okay, I can't tell through there. I'm sure you can't either, so let me look at them. It kind of looks like an L all by itself. It's a square. This is a square, and the, it looks like an L that is... They've got a little top on the L. It's not just a straight, plain... L, they got, it's got a little line here and then comes down and goes across and goes up. There you go. There you go. Now you're seeing what I'm talking about. Anybody know what signature that is? I don't. These have a nice weight, but they're not too heavy. They have a great look, so... Oh man, I think the second pair of earrings like this I've gotten. Sure is, because I mentioned the backs on them being so nice. If I can find the match, here's the match. I promise you I'm not um, showing you these again. These are another pair I've gotten from a previous video. I had these same pair of earrings because they had these nice big old backs on the back of them. And they had that circle with the dot in there. That's all I know. That's all I could see on them. Those are very pretty. These um, rhinestones in here and the flower and here are all um, Aurora Borealis. And then you have a pink one at the bottom I've got. So those are very pretty. The light's better in here during the day because I can open my window film a lot at night. I think I need to start filming during the day because the light's so much better. I can show the jewelry. These are pretty little hoop earrings with little pearl and and they feel cold. Little cold stones. And the pearls are appear to be pinkish to me. There, so y'all can see them. And you have the alternating dark and clear. Wired, wire wrapped around. Very nice. These are pretty earrings. Pretty every day almost. I think um, wearing earrings is a good thing to do. You want to dress it up, dress your look a little bit before you go out and you're in a hurry. 
It looks like turquoise and wood and carnelian in there. Um, it's not cold, so I guess these are faux. But it's made to give you that southwestern look with the feather and and uh, the colors. Very cute. Next earrings. These. Got the purple enamel. Now that's a heavier enamel. It probably can withstand, uh, you know, being in there with the other jewelry. I'll probably will put it in the back though with these other ones. And then we have these chandelier earrings. I always love chandelier earrings. I don't know what it is about them, but I just love them. I love their movement. I love their ornate designs. Usually the stones that are put in there. Sometimes it's hard to tell if it's the metal coal or the stones, but this has um, beads and rhinestones. They need a little bit of shining up, but that's a pretty set. Let's do it like that so you can see some of the color. Oh, quit wiggling. Well, they're going to wiggle like that on your ear. Stop. Just trying to get it to where you can see some of the color. You got your pale blues and greens and your uh, clears. And you have a little fasted stone and you got little rhinestones throughout here. There's the back. These are pretty and well made. Oh, they're marked on the back. Goodness, I didn't see that. Now, is that Liz Claiborne? LC like that, I think it's Liz Claiborne. Those are pretty. Here's some more little huggy earrings. They hug the ear so that you can't really see the loop. Pretty right, pretty CZs. I call those CZs. Here's the backs. And they just come apart like that. Let's see if we see any. Any. Not fair, I'm looking and not seeing if y'all are seeing. I don't see any markings. Let's uh, see what we have in magnetism here. They're magnetic. Very lightweight, though. I really like those. Understated elegance again. Very pretty. Oh, these are cute. Another cute quick fix right out the door with a little bling, but not over overdone for casual. Very pretty. Again, that you've got this ornate part around here, and that reminds me of the halo effect with the stone in the middle with the little. Um, floating diamond there, or dangling diamonds, dancing diamonds it almost looks like, the way they dance. Very pretty. Here's the back. Let's see. I really like those. Yeah, those are not magnetic. I didn't think they were. I really like these. I don't see any marks though, because they could have marked it right there if it was 925. I don't know, should we test those or not? I don't know if Bougie Bear tests her jewelry or not before she sends it out. I mean, as far as things that aren't marked that she might think is, there's no requirement to test it. And sometimes you're just so overwhelmed with having so much, you just say, you let it go, and 
Hope the person who gets it gets lucky. Those are cute little hoops. Very light gold tone. Very organic. Got a lot of swirl of a lot of movement. Wavy type. They're not magnetic. The uh, this part is, but the links are not magnetic. Let's see if I see anything on it. So I want to test these two. I always find a couple I want to test. Here is another pair of earrings. This is the backs. And I believe they go this way. Swirls. Gold tone. Very nice material. That is not magnetic either. It doesn't mean it's silver or gold, but it's a question. What is it? Brass. Something that's not magnetic. There's a little dangle earrings. Very cute. There's a pretty chandelier type earrings. Faceted teardrop stones and a creamy color. Let's see. And there's a lot of jump rings, so no, they're not magnetic. They're also, I don't see any markings. I don't know, there's something. Oh, I just think that's just the work on the metal. Yeah, I don't see anything on that. And then the last pair, and these are, they kind of feel acrylic and then they don't, so I think they're acrylic. Look how these beads are finished on the bottom with rhinestones. That's nicely made. Pretty colors of yellow. And these stones are set, the rhinestones are set in yellows and corals, and then the clear stones. Very pretty little earrings. French wires. And there we go. That's a nice lot of earrings. I'm going to put even the earrings I was going to test back in there. And i got to see how much testing acid I have left. I have a good bit to test that I haven't tested. I think I'm do, going to do a big old video on what tested out silver and what didn't. Put those in there. Put these in here. My cough sounds worse than I feel, so. Oh my goodness. Here's Earring Haven, y'all. Wow, wow, wow. I don't know if these are singles. 
These may be singles. Who knows, I may have matches. I have buckets of singles. Ooh, look at those. Little key cat in the basket. That's adorable. Little pearl. Oh, these are glass. Very pretty. Here's the back, very ornate back. Like that. Here's a little clip back. A double hoop. Like the way that's designed. And it's a clip. Pierced, stud, um, the little pearl with the French hook. Uh, that's pretty. It's acrylic. It says Metallic Art Graphics, John Crutchfield, 1993. Love it when an artist is so is proud enough of his work to sign it. That on backwards. I can fix this to where it won't come off. I put it on backwards. There we go. Those are pretty. Yeah, I think these are all single earrings. Just give y'all a quick look. You're probably not interested in seeing single earrings. But I'm going to go through them real quick because, oh wait, here's a pair. A pair of shell. So maybe they're not. It's nice thick shells too on that. Very pretty color. Got kind of a creamy yellow. And then the other underside is white, white. <coughs> so that's a pair. Oh, we got another pair, guys. Those are beautiful. Like silver earrings. There are no markings on those, but I really like those. Oh, here's the match to this, too. Fabulous. I love this ornate bead up here. And these are so creamy. Very well made earrings and not heavy. Here's an earring. That looks silverish to me. Let me just lay them out here until I can find matches. Y'all are saying, well, show us the earrings. Show us the earrings. Here's a match. Very light. Nice finish on them. Let's see, here's another pair. These are big, humongous love knots. In very good shape. They are clipped backs. Let's really make a statement on the ears. Okay guys, I'm back and what I did is I went ahead and sorted all the earrings to put them together because these are all matches. There were just a couple of broken pieces. Um, some can be fixed, some cannot. This was one that I tried to fix and managed to break. And they were very cute. So I'm sad about that, but maybe I can still do something about it. I'm not sure. And there was this up here here. I'm going to get them out of the way. These uh, mother of pearl and the back just came unglued and that can be glued right back on. So we'll fix that one. And then here's a couple of, and I haven't matched them up anything yet, but a couple of earring findings that I need to figure out what, what it goes to. The first pair I'm going to do are these little magnetic huggy earrings. Can see they clip nicely that looks like uh, black enamel 
and then beading work under there that looks like it's a lot of stones. I don't believe it is stones. I'm going to take a look at it close up for my loop. No, it's not. It's just the texture makes it look like it's got little tiny pave stones. It's a real cute little set. And I don't see any markings anywhere. That's that set right there. Very cute. The next set are these um, artisan copper like wavy remind me of jellyfish design it's um, got the green and the reddish there's the back it looks very copperish here yeah these very much look like they're copper let's see if they're magnetic no, they're not. So these are some copper earrings. They look artisan made. And they remind me of jellyfish. Very cute. I think I showed those already. The next pair I have, these appear to be, have a marcasite look, but it's actually the beaded work that makes it look like that. And these stones are acrylic. They're very nice stones. Here's the back side. I see something up here. I'm telling you, the camera you get on these, uh, on my Samsung versus trying to use the computer to do a video is a world of difference. There's a circle with a dot. You're not going to get this detail of that circle with the dot on my uh, computer with the webcam when I go, if I do live auctions, which is disappointing. Um, once I get over to a thousand, I'm going back to my tablet to do them. These little red earrings, these are older, so they may be, well, they're seamed, so I don't know, maybe they're loose side or maybe just nice red black plastic. I don't know. I'm going to uh, test those. Here's another pair of red and black clip-ons. There's the back. This is a great earring lot. It was, um, all kind of styles, all through the ages. With these pretty uh, pearly pinks. They look creamy, but they're pink. A real pale pink. Uh, 